What's up, my name is Technoba here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In this quick video, I'll show you how to import your settings from Visual Studio 2019 into Visual Studio 2022. All we have to do to migrate the settings from 2019 to 2022 is first of all, export them from 2019 and then import them into 2022. So for this first part, I'll fire up Visual Studio 19. You don't have to open a project. You can simply click continue without code in the bottom right. Then inside of the main program window, click tools at the very top and right at the very bottom here, you'll see import and export settings. Click this and choose export selected environment settings. Click next, then simply make sure everything is ticked or of course what you would like. And if you have any errors, check to see what could be causing issues. It doesn't seem like anything too important here. So I will be unticking live share as I don't use that so I don't need to pull it across. I only tested it in this program, so it has been turned on. I'm not gonna use it in the future. Other than that, I'm happy leaving everything as is. I'll click next and I'll choose a place to export this. For now, I'll export this into my documents, save, and I'll click finish. Then when it's successfully exported, click close and close out of VS 2019. Now we can go ahead and fire up VS 2022. You can probably already guess what we're gonna be doing. Continue without code, then tools at the very top, import and export settings, import selected environment settings. As you can see, it's asking if I'd like to save my current settings. For this, I'll do it just in case, but you can click no just to import new settings. For this, I'll save it in documents and I'll save this as hyphen 2022, just so I know the difference here. Then I'll click next. Inside of here, you can choose it from the list, but for me, I'll be clicking browse in the bottom left, documents, and locating the correct file. In my case, exported 2021 11 21. Open, next, we can choose things we'd like to import, and finally finish. Upon doing so, you'll see that your settings were imported, and anything that has errors will be listed over here. There seems to be quite a few, so you may want to copy paste all this out into a text file to have a better look at it. Now, all we have to do is click close and we're done here. Everything should be pulled across or at least what could have been. It's still worthwhile going through and checking to see if certain settings aren't set that you use very often. But the one thing that won't be pulled across as far as I understand is the extensions over here. You'll have to manually navigate across to new versions and download them because simply 2022 versions of extensions don't work in 2019 and vice versa most of the time. But anyways, that's really about it for this quick guide. Thank you all for watching. My name is Ben Technobi here for Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.